If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe to us to get the basic and advanced math concepts. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is on sexagesimal system of angle measurement. Before understanding its, its concept in terms of angle measurement, let's discuss its concept as a, as corresponding to the other systems like uh, systems in mathematics like the binary system and the decimal system. So we'll start with the background as we know that there is a binary system in mathematics. Now what is this system? Now binary system is a system of base 2. Now what does it mean? It means you will came across the system of base 2 and you will came across only two numbers in binary system in which all other represents will represent that is 0 and 1. So this is the binary system. Now let's have one more system that is a decimal system. The decimal system is a system of base 10 and the numbers that are involved in the decimal system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So a decimal system is a system of base 10 that includes the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And all other numbers are made from these, and these 10 numbers. Now, besides the, these, another system is sexagesimal system. Although it is uh, not used nowadays, but it, this system is important. This system is also known as Babylonian system as it was used by Babylonians uh, for, uh, to represent the numbers. And what is this system? Let's discuss. This system is basically is a system of base 60. Now, the numbers that are involved in this system are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 10, 20 and 30. So these are the numbers that were present only in the sexagesimal system or the Babylonian system of math. If you carefully notice these numbers then all these numbers are actually the factors of 60. So this was the property due to which they have used the, this system as a base 60 system as a, 60 and easily be divisible by all these numbers. So because of this property of 60 that it is easily divisible by all these numbers this system is uh, has given the name of system of base 60. So besides this there is also one more reason. In terms of the angle measurement, we can also discuss, we will discuss it now as it was just only in terms of the system, um, uh, uh, in terms of the systems or uh, in mathematics. So let's discuss this sexagesimal system in terms of angle measurement. So how it is used in angle measurement, let's see, as this is very important to understand here. If we consider a circle like this, this is a circle and as we all know that circle is made up of 360 degrees. Okay, this is the general concept that we know. Now if we start from here and goes like this and ends it here, this is called the circumference of the circle. So according to the sexagesimal system of angle measurement, circumference is divided into 360 equal parts. If I write circumference is divided into 360 equal parts like if I'll say equal parts means one part or one arc angle is equals to one degree. It means like if I divide it into 360 parts like this and so on, then this one angle will be equals to one degree. So if this one angle is equals to one degree, then it is further divided like one degree is equals to 60 minutes. That is represented by 60 dash and one minute or one dash one minute equals to one dash is equals to 60 seconds that is equals to 60 double dash now what is this there is no need to get worry about it we will discuss it in a short while that how it comes so currently you just know, need to know that in in the sexagesimal system one arc angle is equals to one degree and one degree is equals to 60 minute and that is uh, will be represented with, by 60 dash and one minute that is one dash is equals to 60 seconds so in terms of this, a sexagesimal system is a system of, of degrees, minutes and seconds. So it is also known as a system of system of degrees, minutes and seconds. So if we consider its definition, a right angle is divided into 90 equal parts. If it is just a representation that, you have, that they have used right angle, in other words, the, the entire 360 degree is divided into 360 equal parts. So 90 equal parts called degrees. Each degree is divided into 60 equal parts 
and uh, called minutes and each minute into 60 equal parts called seconds so if i draw this this is a circle and this is the 90 degree angle so they have said that a right angle that is that means 90 degree angle is divided into 90 equal parts so 90 equal parts up to so on so here we will have 90 equal parts where each part will be divided into one degree then that one degree is divided into further 60 equal parts that are called minutes and that and in that 60 minute one minute is divided into 60 seconds so this is actually the system of sex uh, sex adjustment system of angle mayor now why why is it so let's discuss it why it is divided into 60 equal parts as degrees we all already know about degrees but we have to see why what is the need of this 60 minutes and 60 seconds so let's have um, a concept that we have a 360 degree angle if I start writing here that you have an angle of 360 degree and we have to start taking all the um, uh, all the uh, factors of 60 that we have already discussed in this system that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20 and 30. And if I take these factors one by one and divide them by 360 what we will get? 360 de degree divided by 2 you will get 180 degree and if I say 360 degree divided by 3 what I will get I will get 120 degree these are all whole numbers then if I will say 360 degree divided by 4 I will get 90 degree it means it will divide the, the, the circle into 4 parts then if I will say 360 degree divided by 5 72 degree 360 degree divided by 6 goes to 60 degree so if i divide 360 by all the all the factors of 60 then we will get a whole number like this so we can easily represent the angle in the sexagesimal system but what if i came across the angle like if 60.45 or 90.35 or 180.35 65. Then how you will represent it in sexagesimal system? In such a case, what they have used, they have divided this angle into this is the degrees as we can consider it. But what about this small angle? So in order to represent all these small angles, they have used the concept of minutes and seconds. Used the concept of minute and second. So you can easily take them and convert them into a form that is, is that is representable in the sexagesimal system like if I take 0.45 how can I convert it so 0.45 will be first divided into will uh, re uh, replace with the uh, remove the point and write 1 and 100 it will be 45 divided by 100 and I'll have to multiply it with 60 so if we solve it what we will get we will get it the angle in a form that is 27 dash now keep this in mind that this is the conversion of this 0.45 it means this angle can be represented as 60 degree and 27 dash so this is the, the this angle is in now degrees minutes and second system or the system that is called sexagesimal system so this is the concept of uh, of uh, degrees minutes and seconds in this system in which uh, we uh, understand the concept of angle measurement so that's all from today's lecture in the, in the next lecture we will see how you can convert an angle in degrees minutes and seconds into decimal form and vice versa so that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you